The turntable animation I'm showing you now, what does it look like? Looks, does everything look okay or is there a bug or whatever? Just think about it. It's one object and I just animated a couple of parameters of that object. Where it looks a little bit like the ProSets plugin here, which I've featured in past tutorials, like that one. So that's all done in ProSets, which costs about forty pounds. There's a plugin by Mains Mainframe North in England. Very powerful. So, this reminded me a little bit of process, but it doesn't use process. Let's delete that object. And the group, i tell you later what the group is about. Um, well, we can uh, just use a polygon cylinder. Let's put it in the scene. Uh, from the previous scene I have a, a material, so I assign the existing material here. You can leave it gray just as you like move it a little bit upward okay um with this object i did uh well no um you can go to polygon cylinder here and you can adjust the radius of course the height but also the subdivisions here and this is all very much intact there's no problem it's it's very very um elegant really to do it like this with a construction history it's this is the factory which makes that cylinder now i'll look at it from the top select faces and select all the faces actually i need that better look here i select all faces at the bottom and at the top and delete them actually i missed the two here delete them too maybe i deleted a few too many here yeah i did um it doesn't matter really right mouse click object mode now um when i change the subdivision height now the <laughs> surface gets a little bit funky like this why for example did it invent that top and that tiny bottom here now it disappears here. Now they're both the same size, only because subdivision height is currently 9 instead of 8 or 10. Or now it starts to grow, 12. It grows down and it shrinks at the bottom. The subdivision of the caps here has an influence as well. So if we go all the way down here, this is what the subdivision caps do. They all of a sudden create some kind of um, material with a wall. It's not t totally complete, but uh, you might go from there. And uh, basically what I did was animate these things here, like the subdivision height. I go to frame number one, uh, right mouse click, set a key, go to frame 60, change this value from 4 to say 17 set another key and then I have this kind of animation okay so that's how I did it uh, it is basically not a bug it's um, it's a hiccup I would say we kind of uh, interfered with the history and the history said well I try to make the best out of it uh, and this is what I <laughs> can invent. I wanted to show you something about the, uh, finally, uh, about the group which I deleted uh, at the beginning of the tutorial. Uh, the, the group ca came from, you need to go to animation and then you have the visualize menu and under visualize you can create a turntable. With the object selected down in the scene, now I create a turntable camera with an animation circling around that object and uh, it's always good to have the option box here because the default, let's reset the settings, is 24 frames. So that's basically nothing. It would stop right here. 
so one second but we have 120 frames um, or can make it even longer whatever and uh, we apply it and uh, we have now a turntable camera number one which is right here which is that group in that group is the turntable camera it's invisible because uh, we don't need to see it we look through that camera now and when we roll the animation from frame 1 to frame 120 um, actually we need a little bit more animation for the parameters here let us select this here and subdivision axis like this set a key and this set another key and now let's roll the animation funny bottom which the construction history invents okay have a nice day bye